Hey guys, I am going to be pretty detailed in this Pythagorean theorem video. If you just need a really quick video, I've got one linked right over there for you. Pythagorean theorem. Oh my gosh, put your hands up. It's an exciting day. I feel like you haven't arrived in math until you do the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so what is it? It is. I'm sure you've heard it before. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We are working with right triangles. What's a right triangle? Right triangle has a 90 degree angle, which means it's a perfect like corner, right? Perpendicular. So this is 90 degrees. Guys, that was my chair. Oh, okay. So Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. C is your hypotenuse, we call it. It is the side that is right across from your right angle, okay? A and B are the legs. It doesn't matter which one is which, you can swap them. Um, but it is very important that C is the hypotenuse, okay? It's also gonna be your longest side, okay? Sometimes if you don't have a picture and they'll just have numbers for you, the hypotenuse is always the biggest one, okay? All right, so what does this even mean? Okay, so we have two sides of a right triangle and you are being asked to find the third side which happens to be the hypotenuse in this case so what we use is the pythagorean theorem okay a squared plus b squared equals c squared so let's see what that looks like um i typically like to label my sides just so i don't forget so we're going to do a b remember c is always the hypotenuse Okay, A and B could be swapped, whatever. Okay, so A squared, A is five. So we've got five squared plus B squared, B is 12. So I've got 12 squared equals C squared, which is what we're trying to figure out. So I don't have it. So I'm just gonna put X squared. That's what we're looking for, right, is X. Now I can just solve, okay? Five squared means five times five, okay? Not five plus five, it's not 10, it's five times five, so it's 25. Okay, now we've got 12 squared, which is 144. That's 12 times 12, okay? And this is equal to x squared, okay? Not too bad so far, right? Now we just need to add these two. 25 plus 144 gives me 169. And that is equal to x squared. Okay, you might be tempted to think, oh, I'm done, x is alone. But we can't have x have a squared with it to have it really be alone because we're looking for x, not x squared. So how do you get rid of a squared? You take the square root, okay? So I'm going to take the square root of x squared and the square root of 169. Remember, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other to keep my equation true and balanced, okay? Now, when I take the square root of something that's squared, those cancel out, okay? The square root of 169 is 13. So 13 equals x. And you are done for that. So this side here is 13. Oh my gosh, was that magic? It was magic. I mean, not as magic as the cool trick I did earlier, but close. Okay, this one is a little bit different. We have our hypotenuse, we have our C. We're missing one of our legs, okay? So I'm gonna label these A, B, C. C is my hypotenuse. All right, A squared is eight squared, okay, plus B squared, which is N, that's the one I don't know, N squared equals C squared, C is 17, 17 squared, okay, now I just got to simplify, okay, um, eight squared is eight times eight, which is 64, plus, this is still the one I don't know, n squared equals 17 squared is 289. Okay, now what? 
I want n alone. This is just like any uh, multi-step equation you've probably done in the past, okay? So I want n alone. I need to get rid of that 64, so I'm gonna subtract it. If I subtract it from this side of the equal sign, I have to subtract it from the other side. So I'm subtracting 64, right? So left over here, I just have n squared. 289 minus 64 is 225. Okay, am I done? Not quite. n squared is not n. So to get rid of the squared, I'm gonna do the square root. Okay, those cancel out, so I'm just left with an n. And the square root of 225 is 15. Look at that. You're done. So n is 15. Okay, let's do one more. This isn't too bad, right? Hopefully you're like, oh, I can do that. Okay, last one. <clears throat> A, B, C. This one's C. Okay, the hypotenuse. The other two, just label them A and B either way. Okay, so I've got A squared, so 20 squared plus B squared. B is R, that's one we don't know, so R squared equals C squared. C is 29, so 29 squared. Okay, here we go. 20 times 20 is 400. Plus, this is the part we don't know yet, r squared. 29 times 29 is 841. Guys, I have this written down. I don't just know that off the top of my head. That'd be cool, though. We could pretend. Okay, now I want r all alone. So I need to get rid of this 400. They're being added together, so I'm going to subtract it. Okay, if I do it to this side, I gotta do it to this side. Okay, those go away. I've got r squared equals 841 minus 400 gives me 441. Okay, how to get rid of that squared? I do the square root. Those cancel out, so I'm left with r equals, the square root of 441 is 21. And look at that. You just used the Pythagorean theorem three times. Good job. Okay. Hopefully you can get your homework done and go to bed and have dreams of math that are nightmares.